So we've got the Ruger American 22 back out. Um, I did a video a little while ago on the easy mods. You'll see some of them up along the top, so we're going to end up recapping them in this video. However, the topic of this video is a new pick rail that I specifically designed for this stock. As you can see, I haven't got a uh, sling point there at the moment because I took it off so I could show you this, which is this piece right here. So I designed this piece myself. Um, I just had it machined in alloy and um, anodized black. So it's a matte sort of finish. Um, it actually contours properly to the stock. As you can see, this one's a lot deeper than the other side. It also lets you uh, retain your swivel point. Uh, this this swivel point here, I can't remember where I put the old one, but it is a little bit longer than the stock one, so um, a new one will be required to go through this and then in there. That's what holds this onto the stock, it's just a swivel point. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to attach that now. I've already had the uh, action off so I could test whether uh, it was hitting the the barrel or not. Uh, sorry, I'm just looking for the Allen key because I found that is the best way to do these up. Go a little bit more. So as you can see, it sits up nice there. Uh, and I won't focus that crash shot, but there are no gaps in between here. It hugs this nice so it can't spin. Uh, you still have plenty of room to put your swivel, uh, your sling on uh, using that stud there. So, But the whole reason why I wanted this and the reason why it is made the way it is so it tapers uh, higher off here because the stock runs that way a bit bit more. Um, ideally it was to follow the scope as much as possible. This is my offset torch mount. So that's just going to attach obviously straight to that awesome pick rail. Uh, loosen me off a bit more. Turn it back up. Which once again so there's plenty of room to run run your sling there. There is still plenty of room. It doesn't impede my hold at all, um, only because that's about where I'm holding it anyway. Uh, but yeah, that allows me to run uh, a torch. Still haven't picked out what torch I want. I do believe I've got a 25 mil torch on this side though. Um, so obviously, that was just like there. Still get my fingers up and around there. I would run a remote switch just somewhere where it feels comfortable for me but uh, as you can see it doesn't add a lot of weight because I made it out of alloy as well so uh, that's the newest thing I'm thinking about getting a couple machined up so they're made available here in Australia um, just have them on stock I'll, I did post up on two Facebook pages about uh, doing a group buy but um, sort of not a lot of interest was made and a lot of comments saying there's already products out there that do the same thing however they don't fit this stock like this and they don't uh, follow the contour that well uh, so normally if you mounted a torch let's just scoot you over that way to this torch is going to go straight up and sort of you know, point in an upwards direction rather than down towards what you want this gives the torch mount uh, to follow the scope and the barrel as best as possible. So that's why I made it. Now you would have seen this is from the other videos of the um, other mods that I've done. I've got the extended bag release uh, mainly because uh, that way. That's your factory one. That's your aftermarket job. Oh, sorry, it goes on that way. Um, that's your aftermarket job. Now the reason why it sort of has to come out this way quite a bit um, to get underneath here is so it can actually clear the uh, the stock when it all comes back together. Um, but I do love it. It's nice and easy to do. My last video I also talked about this job. 
expend, extending your mags. I've since redesigned them again. Sorry, this one's a fresh print. Uh, so they all sit nice and flush a little bit better. Um, so essentially, I've got them in two different ways, but I'm putting it in backwards. Never mind me. In she goes. Flip around, in she goes. Uh, I don't have the triple one here. I kind of don't use the triple one. I've sold, I think, maybe two triple joiners. Uh, but the double is definitely the most popular. So, uh, yeah. Let us know if you're sort of interested in these rails at all. Because I will uh, uh, get a couple machined up. And if there's enough interest, I will do a bolt buy, which everybody gets it cheaper. Yeah, so let me know.